The algorithm and user interface of Amazon is changing day by day. Developers of Amazon are doing this for the betterment of sellers so they can get more and more data about their product and can do more exact and accurate analysis so that will help them to grow their business exponentially to achieve their goal and increase their revenue. So as in past couple of months, we have seen that Amazon has obsolete their old revenue calculator which was giving us very less information and has introduced a new revenue calculator from which we can get more accurate and better data about the profit, about the FBA fee and other statics of our product. So just like that, the old revenue calculator has been obsoleted. So in upcoming one or two months, the old method of sending shipments to Amazon FBA warehouse will also be changed. So the new workflow is already out there, but the old workflow is working as well. But in upcoming months, that old workflow will be deleted and we need to create the shipments and send shipments to Amazon FBA warehouse from the new workflow. So I have already made a video on old workflow in past couple of years. So you can just go there, watch that video in order to see that how that old method works. But for this video, I'm going to show you step by step, like how you can create an Amazon shipment for your FBA product with a new workflow and how you can just generate the labels, paste the labels and send that inventory to Amazon FBA warehouse properly. But before getting started, I was there and I sell my products on Amazon, eBay, Shopify, ClickFunnel and Redbubble. And on this channel, I share my knowledge with you people so you can do the same and build your online business. So if you are interested in learning about the fastest and easiest way to make money online, which can give you profit in your first 7 days, then make sure to sign up for my free 30 minutes webinar from the link below so you can also achieve financial freedom like me and leave you a 9 to 5 job. So without any further delay, let's start the video. Alright guys, so as you can see here, I'm on Seller Central now and let's suppose I need to send the inventory for this product. So from the left side, I need to check this box because I want to select this product and if you're having two or more than two products, so you can just select all this product here. So after selecting, you need to click on this drop down menu and here you need to click on send replenish inventory. So from here, you can see that it has automatically redirect us to the new workflow but you can see this message, welcome to the new send to Amazon shipping creation workflow. You can see that the old workflow is still available but it's saying that this will remain available through October 16 and after October 16, 2022 that old workflow will not work. So we need to learn this new workflow in order to send our shipment properly. So let's see how this new workflow will work. When you go down you can see that this is the number one section which is choose inventory to send. So here we can just select the product we want to send and after selecting that product from their packaging detail we need to click on this drop down menu and here we can see two options number one my template and number two individual units so for example if you only want to send five units to amazon fba warehouse so you can just click on individual units and here in the quantity you can just insert five units here and send but usually most of the people don't send in loose units they send in cartons so let's take an example for this scenario we are having 100 units and we are having 10 boxes and we are having 10 units in one box so in order to send those 10 boxes to amazon fba warehouse we need to create one template for that box and then we will only have to input the detail for that one box like the weight the dimension and the number of units in that box and then after giving the information about that one box to amazon we can just tell amazon that how many boxes we are having so let's suppose we give the information about one box and then at the end we tell that we are having 10 box so we don't need to put the information 10 times we only need to create a template once and then multiply it by 10 so let's see how we can do it so in order to do that we need to click on this drop down menu and click on create new case pack template so i can just name this template anything like youtube template and unit per box is 10 in this case you can have different units and the box dimension can be 23 by 21 by 9 and a box width will be 5 LBA. So this information I am just inserting randomly but for your case if you are sourcing a product from China so you can ask this information from your supplier like you can just simply ask them to send you the packing list and in that packing list you will be able to find the number of units in one carton, the weight and dimension of that carton. But if you are already having the inventory at your house and you are creating this shipping plan for that inventory so you can just measure the weight and dimension of that inventory by yourself from the weighing scale or inch tape. So after getting the information about dimension and weight, you can just put it here and you can just put the number of units in one carton, name the template and just click on save. So now as you have selected the one box as YouTube temp, so now we need to tell them that how many boxes like that we are having. So for example, if you are having 20 units, so the total number of box will be 2 because one box contains 10 units. So right now here in boxes column, I need to type 2 and click on ready to send. 
So after clicking on ready to send, you can see that our first step has been completed. So after completing the first step, you can see that the total preparation and labeling fee is zero because we are the one who is responsible for the labeling. So for the labeling, you can just watch my other video in which I've explained you in detail, like how you can print FNFKU label. So Amazon can track your product in their warehouse when you get the order. But if you want Amazon to pay as a label, so they will charge you a lot. So I recommend you to paste that label by yourself so you can save some money. So after completing this first step, you need to click on confirm and continue. So once you click on confirm and continue, your step number one has completed and you are now on step number two. So from here, you need to tell that Amazon that what is the expected date of delivery. So for example, I will ship the product and that product will be at Amazon FBA warehouse on uh, 20th of October. So I can just select that date. And now here it is asking for the shipping mode, like it is SPD, small parcel delivery or LTL, less than truckload. So if you're having a little stock, so you can select SPD. But if you're having a higher stock, like you're having 20 cartons or there are hundreds of units. So in that case, you need to click on less than truckload. But right now in this case, as our inventory is less, we can just click on SPD. And after that, we need to go further down. And from here, we can just double check the product, SKU, number of units, number of boxes. And then it is asking us to select the shipping carrier. So from there, you can just select the shipping carrier, which can be DHL, FedEx, UPS or other. So Amazon partner carrier are DHL, FedEx and UPS. So if you are selling for any one of them, so you can just click on that. But if you are sending from any other carrier, so you can just click on others. So after clicking on that, you can see that the total charges of preparation are zero and total carrier charges are also zero because you are not using Amazon partner carrier. You are using some other carrier. So this is something to understand. If you're pasting the labels yourself, you don't have to pay Amazon. But if you want Amazon to label for you, so you can pay $0.1 for one unit. And a second thing, if you want Amazon to pick the inventory from your home and then send it to a warehouse, so you can just use UPS and then Amazon will charge you for that UPS. But if you want to send that inventory from any other carrier, like you can just drop the inventory on that carrier office and then they can deliver to Amazon FBA warehouse, then you can select other and from here, you don't have to pay anything. That's why you can see $0 here. So after completing this information, you just need to click on accept charges and continue. So now after clicking on that, your second step is also completed. Now it's the third step, which is print box labels. So now everything is done. You just need to print the box label. And from here, you can just select the size of the paper. I recommend the thermal printing, but you can just use any of the other, like US paper or A4. So click on thermal printing. And when you click on print, so Amazon will generate a PDF for you for two labels because we are having two curtains. So you can just click on download button here. So that PDF will be saved to your computer. You can just print that PDF and then paste those two labels on two cartons. So if you're having 10 cartons or 20 cartons, so these labels will be 10 or 20 as per the number of carton you have just inserted in the beginning of the shipping plan. So let's go on Amazon again. And here, as you can see that you have completed step number one, giving the information, completed step number two, confirming the shipment, completed the step number three, printing the labels. So now there is nothing left. You can just click on proceed and enter tracking detail. So after clicking here, you can just enter the tracking detail, which you get from the carrier. So you and Amazon both can track your inventory. So after printing that label, paste that label on carton, ship that label from a carrier, put the tracking number and just sit back and relax. Because when your inventory will be arrived at Amazon FBA warehouse, you will be notified via email. And from your manage inventory section, you will be able to see the number of units available at Amazon warehouse for sale. And then you can just start selling without any worries. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something great from it. So if you really found my content informative and helpful for you, then make sure to like the video and subscribe the channel as well. So you can watch more and more videos like this in the future. And if you have any question regarding this video or any other topic regarding e-commerce, then you can just chat with me anytime from the link in the description below. So let's meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.